Ah, well, hello, Internet friend. Welcome to my Let's Play of Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. Hello there. Um, so uh, today, I'm just going to take you on a glyph hunt. It's a glyph hunt, man! And uh, I went ahead just to make sure I wasn't um, going to look like a complete idiot and looked up uh, the location of, of all these things and how to solve all the puzzles. So I won't be... Uh, I won't be as annoying about uh, trying to figure out what to do this time. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Oh, before I go down there, I just want to show you show this off. It is so neat that these pipes and stuff that we're about to see here we're gonna be we're about to be up in inside these pipes and it is so cool that they modeled both the outside and the inside of these things I think that is so cool so let's take a look Here we are. Came up through that one. There should be another opening around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. We're gonna go down through this one. So the temple we're heading to now is the water glyph temple that oh, looks like one of my uh, brother Rahab's minions got down here which makes sense considering they don't mind water as much and that's what uh, these humans are using to protect themselves. I wonder if I could uh, harpoon him. Oh, he doesn't like that. Well, we found a heart pe uh, well, a life piece. Oh, would you look at that? We're inside the human city. We can actually see this. We could actually see this when we came into the human city. Uh, just kind of, if we looked up. But hmm. eh, maybe some other time. Uh, for now, <clears throat> we gotta get some glyphs. It's a glyph hunt, man! It's a glyph hunt! Alright. So here we have a, a naked lady. And this is called the Water Temple, so we're probably going to be filling this up with water. We just gotta figure out how. Uh, um, oh, there's a door over here. Let's go ahead and do some exploring. At ease, soldier. Okay, so for this puzzle, we gotta find a way to uh, plug up that hole so the water will rise and go through that grate there. And on the other side of that grate is the statue we were just at. 
Oh, we just gotta find a way to cork it up. Now for... This probably would have taken me hours to figure out on my own, but uh, it's actually this block right here that we need to uh, pull out. And one way that you can figure out which blocks you need to move around is uh, when you go to the spirit world, they usually stand out pretty strongly. I've been pushing on the block puzzle all the live long day. It was nice of her to wait <clears throat> until I got in here. Who knows, a soldier might have come in here and stolen this. So now we got the water glyph. Take a look at the architecture here. And, you know, not a whole lot to do with um, future Legacy of Kane games here. Um, in the future, uh, angelic imagery is going to mean something very different uh, from what uh, they probably intended for, for this game. Um... But uh, as it is, uh, you know, she kind of looks like a, she might be a vampire. It's, it's hard to, hard to say. Um, but I, I don't think there's too much you can read into these. They are side quests, not meant to be finished to see the end of the game. So I would be negligent uh, if I... If I didn't mention, though, that uh, in this area you were meant to, before they cut it from the game, you were going to have a, another boss fight here with a, like, an enchantress who would uh, basically give you the ability to possess people. But uh, that was cut from the game. Apparently her dialogue is still on the disc, and if you want to hear that, you should... Definitely go check out um, Ben Lincoln's page, uh, The Lost Worlds of Legacy of Cain, which is still up, by the way. I went and looked. He is still doing his thing. Well, he's not so much in the Legacy of Cain front, just uh, keeping his website up and updated and whatnot. A lot of aqueducts, a lot of interesting stuff all throughout this uh, this game here. You can see uh, the body of an unfortunate vampire that uh, got caught in the human's watery trap. Maybe he fell down through that hole. Who knows? 
wonder how long he's been down here. Hmm. Well, as you can see, uh, the first part of this puzzle is trying to get this water out of here so I can move these blocks around. So let's try to figure that out. Since the water's coming from this direction, I'm going to assume there's probably some kind of valve over here. Ooh. How do I know all this stuff? I kind of feel like I'm cheating. All right. Water's gone. Oh, geez. Got him. Very cool architecture in here. You have to wonder if uh, maybe this is where the boss fight would have taken place if they'd left it in the game. But what we get instead is just a health piece. of a barely animated fountain. <laughs> or who knows, maybe that's supposed to be crystal or something. Not clear. And you just get a sense of how many people must live here. Maybe, maybe things will be all right for the people of Nosgoth. If we can just get rid of the vampires. Maybe get those pillars working again. Who knows? Oh boy. Don't stand so close to me. I don't want to get you with my soul reaver. That put you down real quick. So I'm going to use the fast travel point that we found here last time, but first I'm going to snag at least one more power up before I go. Just because I think it's sort of neat, the area we're going to be going to. I really shouldn't do that without looking.
Oops. All right. So again, this is <clears throat> this is just a magic upgrade. It doesn't really do anything to help you, but it is kind of neat. Uh, this area here. There's just everything in this game is so well designed for a game of its era. Just uh, just the the world building, the world, you know, the craftsmanship they put into. every inch of this world is something that even some modern games don't even put this much detail into the games they're making, you know? But, uh, now that we've got that magic power up, let's go ahead and head to the Fire Temple, which, uh, we actually passed while we were exploring in the last episode, and I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, go down there. I, I didn't notice it, really. There we go. It's not the original harpoon, but it's, it's gonna have to do. Let's see what kind of fun we can get into on our way to this glyph hunt! It's a glyph hunt, man! Sometimes I still kind of cringe when I'm in the physical world and switch, jump in the water, because for a good chunk of this game, water is not your friend, but at this point, you can do anything. Alright, we're already starting to see some fiery imagery. Let's look for some more. Looks like we got a gate here. Some torches behind it. Let's start by going this way. Oh, I didn't mean to uh, interrupt your dinner. Let's, uh... Try one of our new powers, shall we? Oh. Didn't stun him for very long. I was hoping it was just going to make him melt immediately. Looks like it just held him still, held him still for a little bit. Maybe froze him. Oh, our old pal, the uh, door. Anyways, well, yeah, we know how to solve this. the other side of this wall. Let's do a little exploring, shall we? Wow. Big old beefy dude holding on to something. Given that this is the fire temple, you could probably guess that I'm going to need to put some fire in there somehow. So let's figure it out.
this time it stays open. Alright. Now let's see what's this way. And one thing I haven't really talked about with the Dumaim here is uh, you can see one of his arms is just a big old beefy club. It's kind of established in uh, Legacy of Cain Blood Omen or Blood Omen uh, Legacy of Cain, whatever. Um, that clubs and maces actually leave vampires victims in that kind of prone Mortal Kombat finish him state uh, that allows vampires to just feed off of them. So that is why these guys use clubs. Because they are trying to get themselves a snack and they don't want their snack to completely bleed out without uh, giving up some delicious human juice. I don't know. So we got a bunch of pillars surrounding a room. I think we could probably guess how to solve this puzzle. Oh, hello there. All right. Now, uh, this guy here, it's its hard to say who this is supposed to be. It's another one of those things where these, these side quests, I, I don't know that they specifically had any story elements planned out or anything. He doesn't seem to correspond to anything in the later games, but uh, who knows. Um, he does look a lot like some concept art for Kane that was uh, we'll actually probably see during the closing credits, but um, other than that, can't really say what he's supposed to be. And of course in the last episode we got ourselves the uh, Fire Reaver upgrade, which I just used to imbue my soul reaver with flame let's see if we can get that flame somewhere it can be useful all right buddy give you a little fire crotch This should be working. Alright, maybe we'll just try hitting it. Alright, we got all the sconces lit. Now we got ourselves a fire glyph.
All right. So there's that. We got some more magic energy. Let us get ourselves some more glyphs. Let's move on to the next glyph because this is a glyph hunt, man. It's a glyph hunt, man! Goodbye, Fire Reaver. You were very useful. And as you can see, even if you didn't get the Fire Reaver, they give you these uh, torches right here that you can grab and carry back up and light up and all of that so that you can still solve the puzzle. Oh, before I leave, I better go get my harpoon. Don't want to leave that behind. Oh, God. you guys again. Ugh. If I had my harpoon... What am I doing? It's a lot more useful than I remember. Alright. Now we can move on. I always forget you can't uh, take weapons through the portal. At least it's in a safe spot. All right. Before we uh, before we move on, I think we'll try to get our hands on some more power-ups. Even though, honestly, we don't really need them. I just figure maybe someone will watch this and want to know how to get something and fast forward to the part of the video where you figure out how to get this glyph or get this heart piece whatever I think there's only two more in the entire game I'm trying to think of where they could be I know where at least one of them is in this fun place. Oh boy. Remember back to our the episodes when I was exploring this place? Ah, that took me forever. Right. Now, I don't know how you would have find this without a guide, but uh, you have to drop down in here. I guess you could probably just stumble upon it. No! Go away! I don't like you. Yep, you can stay down there. Alright. Now, uh, remember... I don't remember if I left it in the video or not, but I did come down here at one point. Try to throw something at that. Now I got it back.
And now I gotta drop it again. So this is the sound glyph. That we're getting. And we have this weird tool here that uh, doesn't appear in any other level in the game. Um, it is meant to be the hammer of a bell. You know, the little dangly part of the bell. But, uh, I will show you that, uh, this thing is more than meets the eye once we get through this. Okay, so... Now, to know to do that, you kind of have to um, explore quite a bit. But, um... Now, where did it go? Whoops. <laughs> I heard it break something. Oh. Darn. Well, let's try this again. I think it probably broke the glass that you're supposed to break to get in there. And now if I throw it, it should go right where I want it to. Just right down the middle. And it made it over here. Yay! Now we can solve this puzzle. Amazing that didn't make the whole room collapse. Hey, and these pillars are still here. <laughs> Li Liberty Bell. Now that this glyph actually just stuns guys, not nearly as useful as the fire glyph, but 
still pretty handy. Now for this thing. Let me show you some cool stuff with this thing. First of all, we'll have to use our little trick with the with throwing it, putting our arm through the gate. Now we pick up this. It's a lot of work to do this, but it's worth it. <laughs> As you can see, you can you can just hit fools with it. But it doesn't do much in the way of damage. You get healed almost immediately from anything you do. Um, but if we find a fire... Okay. You notice it's not really burning. Uh, the top part of it got a little bit darker, but it's not really on fire, though. And yet, it can light fools up. And unlike a torch, which goes out after you use it, you can actually reuse it. So now, now that this thing is uh, imbued with fire, it is a torch that always works. It never goes out. Which, eh, you know, it's useful, but... I mean, I really like the spears better as, as far as weapons go. I have just the spot for this. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here so I know where it is for next time. Alright, so I wanted to make this all about getting all of the glyphs, but um, it's taken a little bit longer than I thought it would. So I'm going to cut this glyph hunt. It's a glyph hunt, man! Um, uh, off short. So, uh, you know, we got the fire, we got the water. And we got the sound glyph now. And there's one more left, and it is the sun glyph, which uh, the sun glyph was actually um, back in Zephod's lair, um, but it's kind of it's kind of a big dungeon. It's the biggest side dungeon of the game, uh, so I want to go ahead and maybe just do that one next time. Maybe we'll just make a a full episode just out of me getting the sunlight glyph. But uh, until next time, uh, keep ringing some bells and uh, keep glitching them games and reaving them souls and you know just all around being a being real cool about stuff and uh, you know um, just be good to yourself and each other. Bye.